can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. She is blessed and praised. Hey, Twist the Girl, welcome back to Twist and Shout. I'm Shar, and guess what, y'all? I got another grease mix for you. If you know, and you've been here since the beginning, you know that I just love mixing grease. And my whole purpose and point is to see if I can make a mix better than the last mix. And that's just me in real life, my personality. Like, my aim is to be better than what I was before. And that kind of spilled into me with this grease mitts. Y'all know the infamous Suffer 8 and Do Gross mitts. We tried it. It worked to my surprise. Because I ain't gonna lie. I'm just like, here's somebody go. Hyping something up, right? But it worked. But I say that my mitts, the Suffer 8 and Palmas Grow Therapy, blows Do Grow out of the water. And... A lot of people even came forward and said that Dugro is not a consistent growth grease. Like you can use it this month and it shows you some progress and then you can attempt to use it in month two and it doesn't do anything. So we kind of narrowed down to the fact that the basis of the hair growth definitely is Suffer 8. That's the main ingredient to the potion. However, again, Palmer's Growth Therapy Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm try it before you knock it actually has proven to work a little faster than suffer eight on its own or the mixture with suffer eight and do grow now let's get to the point of this video shall we i been in here mixing and if many of you did not catch the video i'll be sure to link it in the description box of me making the comparison on how the grease feel, the suffer grease that I purchased from a hair store. And I actually had three different ones and I compared it to how my scalp feel and reacted to the regular suffer eight. And it was quite interesting because to me personally, suffer eight did not have that instant sensation. Like it took a while and the other greases, one of them actually, I felt a little quicker and more effective than I did the Suffer 8. Interesting. So, let me just go ahead and get a rundown comparison and final thoughts of these grease that I am referring to. And the first one is the Dax Suffer Cooling Camphor Menthol Eucalyptus. It's a 7.5 ounce jar. I believe this was five and some change, almost six bucks. Suffer is the fifth ingredient in this. Petroleum is number one and paraffin is second. And perfume is third. To me, that's off to a very horrible start. I would think that they would actually make an effort to put some of the greater ingredients, because it actually has biotin and menthol in here as well, but those are in the latter ingredients. You want to be careful of how the ingredients are placed, especially when they're highlighted right under the main title or ingredients. You want to make sure that if it tells you camphor, camphor should be in top five. If it tells you menthol, Menthol should be in top five or eucalyptus that should been that should have been in top five as well, but it's not. So would I actually purchase this grease again? No, unfortunately I would not. Um, I did make a mix with it tonight, but once I see how that goes, this probably is going to end up in the trash, unfortunately, and that's my money. So that's my problem. The next one is the one to grow max pure stuff for naturally medicated. This one Based on texture, smell, I thought this one would be the most horrible in comparison. But then when you actually turn on the back, you have petroleum, sulfur, castor, sunflower, wheat germ, rosemary, mint, aloe vera, sesame, and soy, herbal complex, burdock, comfrey, nettle, horsetail, Cola nut, dandelion, ginseng, wild yam, rosemary, lanolin, brew yeast, menthol, certified color and fragrance. Listen, all of those ingredients actually promote and stimulate hair growth. And they so happen to be in the same jar at the same time. Now, unfortunately, this one is going to be hard to find. I found it at a local, um, not even a local hair store. Actually, I drove an hour away and so happened to be looking in this hair store. And this was in here. And they do have a value size. And I can assure you 
When I go back, I will be getting the larger container. This was only $4. The bigger container is like five, almost six. Well worth the money. This is a six ounce container. I would say that I am curious and interested to see how this will actually work with the Palmer's Growth Therapy and that will be coming in the future. So for someone to actually ask me about this, I would say, yeah, definitely try it. I think this is some good stuff. Next, we have the Hollywood Beauty Suffer Medicaid Stat with Camphor. This one honestly gave me the most Suffer 8 vibe, like the texture, the look, the specs. Everything about it actually gave me like, okay, this is probably something that you actually could put side by side with Suffer 8 and probably have similar reaction responses. And truthfully, you do. Now, I would say that was the lay on stimulation with both of them, but... Maybe that's because my scalp is used to having everything at once. This is a 7.5 ounce container. And this one is actually even labeled like the regular Suffer 8. If you know on the back, it actually has active ingredients and inactive ingredients. So the active ingredients in this obviously is Suffer as 2%. This one also says Suffer at 2%. This is just a larger container. And the inactive is mineral oil, paraffin, perfume, camphor, menthol, sunflower seed jojoba oil so it's castor oil so unlike this one this one actually has a balance of moisture as well so this is something that you probably would be like you could go throughout your whole hair strand where this one is more direct and targeted to your actually scalp i have not used either to do so i plan on probably doing so next wash day to see how my hair will respond and react Maybe, I'm not sure because it's kind of a scary thing because a lot of people say when they go to use Suffer 8 or the grow on their strands, they start seeing a lot of hair shed and hair fall and I'm not for that. So I don't know yet. We will see. But I do plan on using some type of grease on next wash day. And that's the three that I have that I am comparing. Uh, we all know how I felt about the grow Hair Vitalizer Triple Strength that has the Suffer in it as well. This one actually has suffer at the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh ingredient. So a little further down the list, even further than this one. However, this one has, well, I don't know. They're kind of almost the same. It's almost like, like they're almost the same, actually. Very similar. Now, someone did mention that these two are by the same company. I do not think so, and that's not confirmed anywhere. Um, do grow seem to be kind of section off. Now, I would say that um, Suffer 8 and Blue Magic, if you don't know, they are from the same company as well as Royal Crown. They all are from the same brand and company. The same person created them all. So, something you, if you didn't know, now you know. Um... I would say that probably also explains why a lot of people start mixing Blue Magic with Suffer 8 and they kind of work well together. Me personally, they did work well. I don't think Blue Magic actually aid in growing hair out the scalp, but I do believe Blue Magic is a great hair grease to retain in length and smoothen your hair out for a long lasting hairstyle. Now, going forward, like I said, I did mix the three, which will be the Hollywood Beauty. You guys want to see what it looks like. And the Dat Suffer. And the Wanda Grow Pure Suffer. I did mix these three in this container. And I use organic. I'm sorry. I actually, no. With this one, I use just extra virgin olive oil. Because I actually want to see how that goes too. To make it a little soft so I can actually mix it together and put it in this container. This is a 8 ounce container. And all you have to do is literally, like I'm going to show you guys on my split. Is just move it along. And grease like such. And I already done my edges for the night. And to be honest with you guys, so far I have not had any tingling sensation or any cooling sensation or anything to that effect. If you guys have used any of these grease, let me know. Some of you have already have already. Do you think it's a good idea to mix them up? Do you think it's dangerous? Do you think I'm going too far? Let me know. Don't pollute. Keep it cute in the comment section. 
And I will be more than happy to go through you guys' feedback and see, you know, if this is a good idea or not. I would admit this one's probably a little scary for me because... 2% seems to be the max that these companies are willing to put in the grease. So when you start adding more on top of that, it's like, are you asking for trouble? Would it be too powerful for your hair and scalp? Something that, you know, somebody should not take lightly. And of course, disclaimer, I'm doing this for myself. This is my own risk. So to each his own, if you want to do it, that's fine. But I'm choosing to try to see how it goes. And of course, if I don't like how it goes, then that's it. So... I love you guys. God bless. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye.